Hey guys, this is Wes, and welcome to your 14th Java tutorial. Um, yet again, we're pushing back nested if statements one more time, but for good reason. I realized that when explaining um, in the has next int method in the scanner class, I didn't actually show how the program would um, crash if you type something else so we're gonna run this real quick it's the same it's the same exact program we had we just did in tutorial 13 so how do you if we say like 33 it'll say you are 33 and if we run it again since it's accepting an integer and that's it so if we put 20 it would crash because that's a string that you're trying to shove into an integer so <laughs> as you can see this is an integer the age and only can only accept integers so to prevent it from crashing I will show how that works again and this is going to be a better example so I might just delete the, the other video I don't know but I'll show you right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it this way we're gonna make an if statement and it's going to say scanner object because it's referring to the scanner class dot has next integer I'm just going to keep that one double curly brackets um, the way this works again is this is a method inside of the this is a method inside of the scanner class scanner object is referring to the scanner class um, this right here accepts user input in the form of an integer and it returns the boolean value true if an integer was in fact entered if a string was entered it returns false that's all it does it returns true or false so if this condition right here is true we're going to do this so we're just gonna basically put this into the if statement so we'll just do this paste and then we'll make an else statement and we'll just tell them to get their act together and enter integers like they're told because we can't be screwing up our uh, program so do as you're told and enter a damn Dang, that was supposed to be capital letters <laughs> and enter a damn integer whatever dude <laughs> I can't get anything right right now it's like 4 a.m. I'm going to go to bed after this but so let's run it try to keep it from crashing so how old are you to show you that it still works if you are 22 so this came back true it executed the code within the if brackets which just happened to be this right here and let's enter a string to show you that it won't crash anymore do as you're told and enter a damn integer so yeah that's to keep it from crashing I didn't show you it it even crashed last time and I didn't explain really what it was too well last time either when you are using the scanner class and accepting user input if it's next int next double next line it's very particular with what you enter into it if it if you enter something that it's not expecting say you enter a string and it's supposed to be an integer right here 
it's going to crash like I showed you. If it's a <clears throat> double, it next double, and you enter a string, it's going to crash. I mean, that this if else statement right here is a way to prevent it from crashing. So that's basically just redoing it. I might even delete the last video, but yeah, this is going to be a short one. Um, and the next video, I promise, will be nested if statements. So yeah, I will see you guys in that video. Alrighty, see ya.